best part of waking up is that Corbin's not there. I was gonna say something funnier. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can also Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 Twitter,
Yeah, those are always cool, like when you... Um... Number seven, Chris Jordan. No wonder... Oh! That's a good one. That's like when the pitcher Number catches six, the ball. Number six, Vinish Karthik. He took a screamer to dismiss Brian Smith. Quality was bad. terrible, I couldn't see it. Yeah, really bad. Yeah, either the pitcher or the third baseman on a line drive down the line. Show it again. Oh, God. That's even worse. <laughs> I'm sure it was impressive. The quality on this video is terrible. There, that's better. That's very impressive. Number five, <laughs> Alan Border. John Reed was looking dangerous, and Border yeah. came up with this. It's in the air. Tremendous catch there by Alan Border. Well, he's been standing in that position, waiting for an opportunity to make a contribution, and what a catch it nice. was. Gilbert got to the edge. Border went full length to his left and he caught it in the end of his fingers. It's a magnificent catch by Alan Border. Number four, Rahul Dravid. Oh! Dravid is an amazing fielder. Oh, that was like... to take this brilliant catch off the bowling of Sachin. Struck for India. Damien Martin has gone. And Rahul Dravid continues this Indian tradition of pulling off great catches. What a catch! Dang! I mean, it's catch off the mat so far. You know how fast Good your brain has Good to turn. talk to your That's hand. Right 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 right. And what a catch taken by Rahul Dravid. How it's far is he behind him? Like five feet? Yeah, he's maybe. Six let me see. Let me see. Have a look at this dive. Yeah, ten feet max. Dravid. Maybe. Number three, Ricky What's Ponting. Ponting does the incredible to dismiss Jamie Howe. Oh! oh! Now that's good quality. That was like this high off the ground. Oh, what a catch. That's the best one, definitely, so far. Why do they wear cardigans? You see it, and you then react, and I was able to take like half a step to my right and then dive as far as I could and you know, pretty outstretched there and how I actually stayed in my hand. Like that was great. Really I like fun. the Australian accent. Number two, this was a brilliant shot by Stewart, which was beaten by an even more brilliant catch by Mark Wood. Pixelated, couldn't really tell. Brilliant, brilliant catch. Mark Wood's caught some stunners in this series with nothing better than that. And that's the end of Alex Stewart. That went like a rocket. Alex Stewart will be cross with himself there. It was a terrific catch. Really outstanding. That hot to wear that card again. The shot is not to be remembered. Okay. That's outstanding catch. One-handed, going quickly. Number one, Eunice Khan. Oh! He became a Superman for a few seconds when he dived out for this catch. Damn! Wow. That's impressive. You know when in um, NBA, Michael Jordan did a, a, a dunk and it became the NBA's logo essentially. Yeah, that should that could have become that like cricket's be, yeah. logo. What do you think of this? <laughs> did you enjoy this video? Write to us in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, so some of those very very impressive. It's just like. Yeah. Even though some of you hate it, it's all we can equate it to. Even though we've seen a few games, we're just more familiar with baseball. It's like it's, yeah. it's really difficult when a somebody hits uh, hits a ball, and then the pitcher or the uh, especially the pitcher, especially the pitcher, because he's the closest. He's yeah. what? How far is it? Sixty? Sixty feet, six inches. Yeah, uh, from him, and that ball's probably going over a hundred miles an hour, coming off, off the bat. Always, almost always. Uh, obviously, they catch it with a glove. And they're also not in a position. So, for example, the next closest person's gonna be the guy on third, who's gonna be about 95, 100 feet away. But who's on second? Nice, thanks. And the, when you're a third baseman or any infielder, you're already in a position, you're prepared, you're waiting. So you're waiting and you're usually shifting your weight, and you can tell where the ball is being pitched you can kind of get an idea based on where the ball is and when the batter starts to swing, what direction the ball is going to go in. And you can start to move before the ball's hit. 
the difference with a pitcher is not only are they half the distance, mm -hmm. they've just finished releasing the ball. So they're not in a really good position to be prepped for that thing to come flying back out. Yeah, usually the catch. But... <laughs> it's just instinctual, and a lot of times guys get yeah. beamed and hit yeah. hard. Because obviously it's coming off real hard. Yeah. But obviously this, they're... You have to tell me how far back they are. I, I, max, they're 10 feet. It looked like, with the one you were pointing it out, yeah. it looked like he was no more than five or six meters, which would be like close to seven, eight feet. Yeah, so that, that's extremely quick. And I'm assuming the ball's probably coming off 60 to... No, I, I had some stupid babies tell me, the average uh, bowler is gonna be in the ballpark but coming off the bat. Well, it depends on the direction. Yeah. but. Like that one, when it's going backwards off the bat, sometimes a ricochet off the bat, it'll pick up speed. Yeah. So it's gonna be leaving, it's gonna be hitting the bat somewhere in the neighborhood on the slow side, 80 miles an hour, on the Ooh. high side, 90. And you're catching it with your, with your bare, bare hand. hand. You're getting that thing probably on those things. Your bare hand catching that thing somewhere in the neighborhood on the low end, 70, on the high end, 95. And you're either five hand. to 10 feet away it's crazy the closest person in, in baseball outside of the uh, the catcher obviously behind yeah. the, the batsman yeah. is 60 feet away yeah but obviously the, it's coming off the bat i think much faster it does come off faster. Uh, and you do have a glove yeah so there's obviously different factors there but that man that's that's crazy fast hand brain coordination and again i would really love to know like we we know what the common injuries would be for the for nba players nfl players and major league baseball players we know what those common injuries are. I can't imagine the most common injury for a, a, a cricketer is gonna be hands. I can't imagine that's not the most common injury, is fingers yeah. fingers and hands getting smashed by that ball. Something getting smashed by the ball. Yeah. He, uh... It's gotta be fingers. There, and they, I've gotta like, there's certain sports where you can tell the person did that sport for a long time. Yeah. I imagine the hands of a cricketer after many, many years of playing, especially which position you are, are gnarled yeah. and arthritic later on. <clears throat> well, incredible athleticism. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to, obviously before COVID, we were, I think, getting a cricket team here. So I don't know if we still are. I think we still are. It's just, I think they've slowed the yeah. process down. But uh, it'd be cool to see some cricket games because, well, I mean, we would definitely see some stupid babies yeah. uh, at, at these games. But let us know what other cricket videos we should react to uh, down below. Da din din 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 da din din